The Legend of Drazil and the Unknown Force. That is the next book in the book series, uh, the whole Legend of Drazil series. This was the original end to the Legend of Drazil series. It was supposed to be the final climactic battle. 159 pages, 160 pages, and it was split into two parts. This was the first part, and I'm gonna, we're going to dive right in. So starting with the table of contents, there is a lot of chapters. <laughs> Uh, a lot of chapters. There is actually 15 chapters in this one. Uh, I think I actually, a lot of the chapters in here were kind of small. That's, that's kind of why that there's so many chapters. Uh, but also it is a little bit bigger than the rest. This, that's just, like, like I said, this, this book, we're just going to start right here with the, uh, the about the author and the book summary, uh, the blurb, uh, which the about the author is actually different for this one. So we're actually going to, we're actually going to, we're going we're gonna to get into this. We're going to do both. So the book summary, uh, if you're asking what this book is about, I will tell you. This book, The Legend of Drizelle and the Unknown Forest, is about Hara's secret past and, and her TOC mark. All of the world's evil is in Hara, and she has to free the world of evil by fulfilling the prophecy. Both good and evil is in the ones who can bring peace, the TOC and the Anol. Uh, can she do it, and can Drizelle Albert Anol uh, realize what he has to do uh, with this? Even if he does know what he, what he has to do, can he do it? And that's what... Could you do it? That's what the book, the book summary is. That's what the blurb is. Uh, and then we're just going to move on to the About the Author. Because this is finally, like, the fourth book, it finally changed the About the Author. I don't know why. But it did. Uh, so, here it is. Uh, it says, I am 16 as I write this in 2013. I have always uh, learned about writing easier than math or science. It mostly has to do with the fact that writing isn't hard. Uh, I just write what I see. When I was younger, I played with a toy lizard I called Drazil, and every story about him that you've read is nothing more than the dreams I've had about it, or just my memory of playing with the toy lizard I called Drazil. If you have to remember one thing, one time from your life, choose your childhood. Uh, in your childhood, you learn, uh, and your imagination is at its strongest. And then it just says Daniel Rebold, and then you say sincerely Daniel Rebold on that one. Uh, that's what the about the author is on that one. Uh, and what the blurb is. So, what is this book really about? This book, like, like, like I mentioned in the book summary, the, uh, the, bl the book summary, the blurb, uh, it's basically about Hara. She has this unknown power which she can't really control because basically all of the world's evil is in her, kind of. It's not really in her, but uh, the way it works is that um, it, she's like absorbing this, this evil, or, like from the world and stuff. She acts like uh, like like a an evil lightning rod kind of, uh, and this, all this evil comes in here, and she she can't control all that energy, so it just like explodes out into this huge outburst of power, and, and which is referred to as the unknown force of the unknown force. <laughs> uh, essentially, she there's this prophecy about both good and evil are the ones that can bring peace. Uh, uh, the TOC and the Anol. The TOC being uh, Hara because she has a TOC on her arm. Uh, it's like a T and then there's an O and then there's a C uh, on her arm. And that marks her as the orphan to Coven or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh, but that's what that's essentially what it's about is she has this unknown power and it's time. The prophecy is time. Drazil has... The, everyone is under the impression that Drazil is going to have to kill Hara because uh, she, she's about to absorb all the evil in the world, and then killing her would, would like, just end all evil and bring about peace. But Drizzo can't really bring himself to do it, because he loves her. Uh, and that's where the, the whole conflict comes into play. And then there's also this other force that's out there to basically kill Drizzo and take over the world <laughs> uh, by becoming the next master of the Earth uh, and restart the Blue Blocks War. There's all kinds of nonsense that's going off on the side at the same time, so Drizzo can't really deal with it. Uh, so... That's what it's about. Uh, and then part two kind of changes a little bit. Part two is more about um, Drazil is defeated at the end of part one, uh, kind of. Uh, what happens is basically he's essentially he's launched, he's sent like eight years in the future or four years, something like that. I don't remember how many years he was sent into the future, but he was sent into the future. Uh, and instead of the person that defeated him as being master, Godrin is master. But with Godrin as master, the world is pretty much all destroyed, and it's lost all hope. The only there's there's a new resistance, just similar to the Mighty Resistance, except it's like not an evil resistance. They're legitimately trying to uh, defeat Godrin and bring peace back to the world, or, or at least somewhat peace, because the world is just completely chaotic with Godrin as master. No one likes him. He's pretty much just killing everyone. Doing just he's he's insane. He's literally insane. Uh, anyway, that's what that's what part two comes into play. And uh, that's pretty much what the, the first part is about, and then the second part is about what I just told you. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I actually forgot to mention the dedication. 
uh, for this one. Actually, I didn't even show you the intro for this one, so we're going to do the intro for this one real quick. The first part had its own intro, and the second part had its own intro. So the first intro for the for the Unknown Force is, Hooray, you must be shouting. And if you're not shouting hooray, I'll tell you why you should be. Uh, it's the fourth book in Drazil's Legend. Uh, so, huh, are you shower, uh, shouting now? Uh, well, you don't have to, but I'm, I'm betting you're all excited to read this read the rest of this book, so I'll cut this short. Hara's secret past is finally revealed, but I won't say what it is now. Uh, you'll have to wait for it to come up in the story later. But I don't want to keep you guessing, so I'll go straight to Hara's past. And that's what the intro is, and then it just gives a dedication. Dedicated to the orphans, the adopted, and all uh, kids alike. That's what the, the dedication is this one. Uh, the reason it, that dedication was because Hara was um, an orphan, uh, and she went from family to family, each family because of her, her TOC, because of her unknown power, her, uh, because of the unknown force, uh, she basically killed every single family that she was in uh, by accident, and so she doesn't like family, she doesn't like uh, being with anyone for very long, uh, and uh, when Drizil came in the first book, it kind of changed everything, uh, and she wanted to be, she wanted to have a family again, she basically wanted to have someone. Uh, anyway. That's what that was, uh, and, she, and like, like I said, she was bouncing around between foster home, foster home, um, different foster family, foster family, uh, killing them all by accident. Uh, and you actually see the one of the families that she's with, the last family that she's with, uh, in this book for the first chapter. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, part two, which is it's about the same size as the first one. Uh, and it is part part two of the Unknown Force. It also has a little intro for some reason. I don't. I, it's kind of weird. I don't know why I did an intro for part two as well. I should have just left that as part two of the Unknown Force and then just gave it its own dedication because I, I gave it its own dedication too. So uh, anyway, uh, that's right. It has two parts. Shocked. Uh, if you answered yes, then you didn't read the table of contents. Uh, don't go back and look to see if it's really there because it really is and you probably want to get on with this book. So I would like to end this page with the dedication for the second part. That's what the <laughs> the intro for second part is. And then the dedication is to the toy wizard that started it all. I wish it was here to see the end. Uh, and the, it's kind of funny, but, uh, it's, the dedication is the toy wizard that saw, that started it all isn't here to see it end because uh, before I started writing the series, I actually lost that, that toy wizard. Uh, like I said earlier, this, this part is mostly um, Drazil trying to find his way back to the past or at least fix what's happened to the future uh, and retake his place as master. Uh, but he, and this is where all of Godrin's five weapons come into play because Godrin is searching for his five weapons in, 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 in this part. Uh, and Drazil knows that if he finds all the parts, all, all five pieces, uh, all five of Godrin's weapons, then he's going to be able to use that power and come back home or defeat Godrin. Uh, he, he's not under the impression that he's ever going to go back to the past. He's under the impression that if he finds these five weapons, he's going to be able to defeat Godrin and take his place as master and, and start fixing everything. That's pretty much it. That's what... The Legend of Drazil and the Unknown Force is about. This one, for some reason, it doesn't seem as long as the others, uh, but I don't really know why. I feel like I failed to mention something, uh, maybe the book cover or something. I think, oh, yeah, the book cover. The book cover had different designs. Uh, one of the designs was where you would see a woman's arm kind of like this, uh, and you would see the TOC on there and, like, steam coming off of it. Another design was where you would see, like, Godwin's five uh, weapons all in one place or something. Uh, there was different designs for it. I don't, I don't know where they are. <laughs> I've lost them. Uh, I, 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 I kind of think I know where they are, but I don't have them with me. Uh, they're somewhere far, far away. That's going to do it for this video. But before it is over with, I'm going to read you the la the fourth, the end message. The, 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 the end message that's at the end of the fourth book in the series. And that's right here. It's, it's not, it's kind of big. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the last one for sure. Anyway, so like always, there was this the end message at the end of all my books. I don't remember why I did that. I, I remember why I did it. I did it because I thought it was pretty unique for a book series to, to literally just like leave a message at the end of it. Like the reader is just like, uh, not the reader, the uh, writer is like, here's, here's my outro basically. <laughs> anyway, uh, it says, uh, a great ending for the Legend of Drazil, is it not? I think so, but I must admit I'm sorry that Drazil is done. No more stories about Drazil, and I'm, all I'm left with is new barrage of ideas, including that of an intelligent bird. Uh, my ideas aren't finished, and I have new stories to tell, so right now I must say goodbye. Uh, but who knows? I may return to Drazil in 20 years, and I'll underline 20 years. Uh, underline 20 years. Uh, 
uh, even newer ideas could come tomorrow or it could take weeks, months, possibly years. But I, but I say I have ideas now, so you won't have to wait for years for a new story. Uh, and I may add, uh, this is my new fa and, and may I add that this is my new favorite story uh, in the Legend of the Resil series. Because uh, uh, previously uh, I had mentioned that Darkest Sands was my favorite story, and then this one became my favorite. Uh, and that's why it's all a confusing mess of which one is actually my legitimate favorite. Uh, but I would say probably this one. Or, or the last one. I'm not totally sure. Uh, so, so AC, uh, so the message says, and may I add that this is my new favorite uh, story in the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, if you said no, then I'm sorry. I just said so. Uh, before I end this, though, I'm, I have to say one of the most important things I have, I have ever said at the end of a book. It's not over, but until my next book. Sincerely, Daniel Ray Baller. And that's how the last of the end message ended. And that's how I'm going to end the, the, uh, that wasn't even the last the end message because there's another book after this one and then another one after that and then another one after that there's like three more books to do there's the prequel the glue blocks war and then the legend of aura and then the master of the universe those are the last three books in the series uh and the, the glue blocks war is the next uh like i said that's the end of the video and uh don't forget to like subscribe share do all those wonderful things and until next time sincerely daniel ray baldwin